Just make sure that we rectify that for you guys. Uh, as in goes Cuz, there's the knockup. Gold card going to connect here as well, and the ganking power of Rek'Sai still and, exists. Uh, and neither of these champions have amazing, uh, you know, ability to turn a fight. Oh, well, Rascal gets Ooh. the Q to connect, and that is just going to be it. The solo kill onto the Fiora. Rascal's lease it. Never... this time. As watch Rascal hit this despite the flash. The oh, old, just too fast for him. The old point blank Q situation. Because he's so close to just nothing. We one did. Of those, one of those one out in the end. Pretty topical. But I like that one. This, uh, this bot lane is going very well for aiming in life early on. Yeah, as Croco makes his way down bottom lane, life has to flash. There's the flash in. Moonfall's brilliant as aiming. Speaking he's of. In the mid lane. Yeah, Cuz looking for that knockup. There's the flash. Flawless duet comes in as Cuz is going to miss the knockup. Still a fair bit of damage, but the Queen's Wrath comes out, and that will be out of trade at one for one. Oh, because right now second. you have complete control over the bottom lane, where again, Lucian Lamy is trying to push this wave so hard. Well, here on the top side of the map, oh man, Rascal is so clean. I mean, yes, I mean, that's a pretty set play from the Lee Sin. The Lee Sandbox, their defensive play on the top side, predicting what Cuz was going to do. Doesn't work out because of that Tremor Sense. Yeah, there's the flash forward. Moonfall comes down again as Cuz is just dead. Yes, there was a cool tidal wave, but that did not really matter. It is going to be still two Drakes, I guess, as the Grand Challenge is once again issued. There's a gold crack in where you start to see the amazing side laning power that Liv Sandbox can have with this pop. So they were a little bit slow to stop the Drake itself. Could punish grabbing a kill here, but the getting the Drake itself was the and, most. I mean, unless something really changes quickly here for KT. Well, uh, Aria. There's the ulti through as Closer trying to dash this one out. Aria getting underneath the turret, and that is not going to be a dive. Ezreal's 20 CS down, but eventually you're going to be way more valuable than that. Well, there's the knock-up onto Closer. Aria gets on in there. Good exhaust onto Crocker to try and avoid death, but Cuz is just dead one more time. Rascal turned up, but he's immediately going to have to get out, and that is now two kills. Some extra gold here on the turret, but the longevity of the gold is not there. As Rascal looks for a play. Yeah, that is uh, going to be Gore Drinker doing some work. As the Q connect, what? One versus three? No, isn't up to his standard. They aren't up to the lead that he has. And yes, a pick like this is going to start adding up here for the side of Liv Sandbox, they're getting all this extra gold. The mid game was basically free for them, outside of a few hiccups against Rascal. So much extra gold going over this Aurelia, and once again, life on this Nami is just trying to clean up the mess. Yeah. As we watch this kick late. play. Oh, the double. And he's under turret there, so they just go in, grab that extra execute damage on the Q. Did it just as an AD carry part of why he's not played as one? Ooh, that's a great Zenith blade to come through there as aiming. He's going to use that cleanse, get himself out of the way. Is now the dash over and immediately has to flash. Croco just comes out of nowhere. And you can see the Terra in aiming. Even finds the Moonfall in the back line. Fantastic stuff. That's the gold card that he is going to connect. Is okay, Cuz doesn't quite find the ulti damage, but will eventually just bite down on the Diana and grab that kill. Rascal just deals with the other three. And KT do walk away with a uh, trade of one for two. So they'll be happy about that. Yep. Rascal's looking for more here. Yeah, diving onto closer here as the challenge is issued. Safeguard now on cooldown, and that is going to be the kick reposted. And Ra found himself in a desperate scenario as Dove's dead. I assume it was Rascal. Yeah, I think so. He, he just indicates to everything. Uh, as Dove oh, just gets Al caught back in. Alcove gaming. Yeah. Doesn't even get the blast going to help him out. Rascal takes it with him. Safeguards for the chase. Flash kick, Q, execute. Bam, gets one more auto to, to uh, put her out of her misery there. Rascal, five kills in this game, but is just, he's still at least in. That's the problem. He can kill people on the side lane. He can 
catch somebody when Live Sandbox Wait, are what? overextended. Uh, Once again, dealing with Rascal. Croco coming down, and I mean, Croco is the actual danger zone, as he could probably get that He's up. like not sure. He's like, I don't know, can I do this? Yeah, trying to catch him back in here is Moonfall. Not going to quite do enough damage. And now the teleport going to be invested as well. The Q is going to miss. Safeguard. Now can Rascal actually do the great escape? He's going to the answer is absolutely not. Unfortunately, Marco grabs it. Unfortunately for their composition, there's no one on our horn. Let's watch how this happens. Okay, oh my well. God, okay. Big damage there. <laughs> <laughs> and then they've got the twisted Back fate here, to lock down. Well. It looked like Fight Aiming was up. charging that up at the beginning. This game is still open. Well, Aiming gonna have to get underneath this turret. He's not very safe though, as you can see, Closer having to chill under there for quite a while. Wow. Um, I know I'm sounding like a rascal fan, but I'm really just trying to look at the one way this goes okay for KT, because everything else on the map is a disaster. But this is just really well played by Closer. Uh, Oh, he's he's untouchable too. Like who can get on top of him? Nobody. He gets gold card and he's like, yeah, I'm chilling. Yeah, arcane chip. That is going to be aiming. Throwing down the back massage. Not going to be a lot of work done there by Croco, but does manage to use the Zonyas in time. Rascal looking for the backline opportunities. He does get the kick back, but Vanguard's edge is just a little bit too good. Rascal gets into the backline. Is the grand challenge going to work out? And the answer is absolutely yes. And Cuz is like, where did my team go? And then he joins them in the death chamber. Oh, uh, no way, no way, no way. There no is way. no smite. As, okay, they'll just say thanks for leash. And uh, Aiming is able to eventually take that one down. But Live Sandbox Baron, composition, yeah. if you're a Live Sandbox fan, and I know you're out there, they are in prime position this game it, on the back of Croco and Closer. This is really reminiscent of the first loss KT had to Dom Juan Kia, where Rascal is trying to do anything. He's trying to flank, he's trying to find an opportunity, and he's doing so well, but it's just not enough at the end of the day. And this is a really well played out team fight for Live Sandbox. They're very slow, they're playing around their range advantage. They have Eventually, the Baron will catch up with you. They'll look for another inhibitor. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, Trisha Barrage is just going to take an entire champion's health bar off of the bottom lane of KT. And uh, aiming in life is just being kept in check right now. The culling, yeah, we make that uh, massage joke a lot, but I mean, that's all it really is starting to look like here on this uh, KT 80 carry. Uh, so, yep. Q connects, and so Aiming's like, well, I'm not going any further forward. And it looks like Liv Sandbox just want to take this all the way down the top lane as Croco gets exhausted, does go golden in the end. It's a great tidal wave to try and get that CC, and now Croco will be taken down. But now Closer gets into the back line. Not going to be able to jump onto the fountain, though, as that is a couple of kills going down. Cuz and Arya both dead, but Rascal's still alive, and Aiming is still doing damage, but the challenge has been issued. And Rascal will go down, and then Aiming eventually does fall. Closes Aurelia this stage of the game. So dangerous, and Lib Sandbox. They lose game one so quickly, and then come back with a vengeance. I don't know, the ball fight was so good because they pushed away from Cuz and then turned on at the end. As we'll watch the final moments here, very, very final moments. Yep. We'll listen to the communication here from the sandbox. Pushing towards the bottom. No flash on Lucian. He's calling out no flash on Lucian and on the Lee Sin. <laughs> Rocco is so hyped, man. He's like, great work, guys. It's been a long time, he says there. I think it was closer there. Long time since they've had this much success. Long time since we've seen his Aurelia, but he pulled it together there.